What's up YouTube? It's your boy Steve from the Valley Garage and today I found me a couple of Furies. Cue the intro! Today is a special day and I will tell you why. I, among many of us who love the Furies, are part of the Fury Nation Facebook page. On it, a gentleman, Will, who went to the admins, and is making his way back down through Connecticut. So there was a posting posted, at like a last minute thing, maybe two days ago. Any Furies in Connecticut that's nearby, we, let's do like a little meet and greet. Post where you're from. I happen to be where I am. And uh, turns out this cool cat, Steve, actually lives two towns down from me. No idea. There's a lot of us out there and still people question, is that a Yamaha? What kind of Harley is that? It's like, there's so many of us all around, but there's still like a disconnect. If you understand what kind of what I'm saying, it's like we're all kind of scattered about, or at least it seems like that. So then we put a posting out Hey, anybody who's around the neighborhood where you are, we were able to scrap up nine Furies, which is pretty remarkable, to be honest. Will is coming down. He's going to stop in Connecticut. And uh, myself, Steve, and a couple other local guys around here, uh, and gals, and gals, um, we're doing like a meet and greet. We're going to go on a quick rip, an hour ride, and then go to the diner for some breakfast or for lunch or whatever. And then, um, you know, we'll kind of go our separate ways. It is Father's Day, but this is totally exciting. This is like an impromptu. It was going to be like one or two guys. Now we're up to nine. So anyway, I detailed the bike. Try to have this GoPro mount here. Mount to the front, but the sticky is too non-sticky and it fell right off. But then I ordered on Amazon a part that clips onto the frame and then I could do a 360 swivel. I bought that on Prime. I'll put a link in the description of what I got in case you want a GoPro and camera around what you have. But I bought it, it was Prime. It was supposed to be next day, second day or whatever. I bought it. This is like day four, I get an email like, yep, sorry, delayed, don't got it. I'm like, are you kidding me? I needed that for this ride. So then I just scoured all through all my random ca camera parts and I found the little wrapping tripod. This bad boy here. The system is a little hokey and I'm not 100% confident in it, but you can, I wrapped it around as best I could tight. I filled it through the brake lines. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Although this is kind of cheapy cheap though. But what's nice is uh, you could screw it for your camera to be tight and then you could just kind of swivel this so I can get shots of me and when we're on the ride, we're going to turn the bike around and we're going to be by the ocean. We're going to be ripping around a couple, uh, couple beaches. So I'll be like, shh, shh, check out the beach. You look at you. Look at the guy in front. Look at whatever. Anyway, so we got to meet for 12. It is, it is 11 and I'm only like 15 minutes away. So uh, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and then I'm going to head out. And uh, I hope I don't lose this GoPro because uh, there's no stopping. Obviously, if the thing goes flying, it might get run over and this will be the last you see of me until I get another camera. I have no idea if this is gonna uh, work or not work, but it's almost like a stalk. It's like way high here, it looks like. This thing can tighten. I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence in that. I'm on there. Let's turn it by the base while I ride, I guess. The other thing too is I got this cool foam mount. I don't like the, uh, I don't want to pay too much money for a foam mount, not that I really care, but this thing I thought was awesome. I'll do a little review on it later, but it's got a rubber mounted clamp so you don't mess up the bars. This scrolls down, your phone goes in it. When you put your phone in, you push, that little dot comes in and adjusts to your phone. Even if you have an Otter box or some kind of thick box like Android or iPhone, and then it's got a back lock that locks and it won't reopen on you. So that's totally cool. That way it can go places and uh, throw the phone up in there, lock it down, lock it. it. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's rated for 100 miles an hour. Trust me, I know, I'll make a video, but it goes. I'm totally excited, this is totally cool. 
Well, thanks to Steve for organizing this. It was completely last minute, um, but it's gonna be awesome. And the best part about it, I think the best part, not only are you meeting cool, like-minded people, but you get to see what other people's buildings, you get better ideas. Like I wanna change the foot pegs out. I'm thinking Karyakin, but I like to see what versions people have on how they did certain things and you kind of make it your own. I know everybody's got the bat wing mirrors. I'm going with the spike theme. Other people like whatever theme, skulls or whatnot. So, oh, I also, I took off that tremendously terrible seat from Low and Mean Garage, like terrible. This thing sucks. I've had it for, you guys know, I made a review on it. They've actually reached out to me and was like, oh, how can we make it better? I don't know, make a better seat. This thing is terrible. So. I threw the stock one back on, totally comfortable, but I would like a Mustang wide touring. And again, it's gonna take away from the drag look that I like, but the low and mean kind of dragged out design that I, that I was going for. So it's gonna be, your, your seat height is gonna be a little bit more, but I know it's gonna be more comfortable than stock and it's definitely gonna be more comfortable than that piece of junk. So I put the stock one back on for now. Someone there, I think, has one of the bikes I saw in the pictures of people posting has a Mustang seat, the white, the touring seat. Oh, obviously I'd get solo, but I'd be, it'd be nice to sit on it and, 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 uh, and see. I don't know, back in a minute. <laughs> We're fucking rolling, dude. Oh, we got roll backwards. Dude, there's a little delay on my phone. I'm watching it live. I'm not live, but I'm filming live. I can see it. This is a test. I did figure out how to delay, delay. Anyway, I mean, this is the setup. I don't know how else to describe. And then I could just kind of twist. See the road in front of me, twist all the way around. I'll just keep twisting to the right. The damn thing from Amazon didn't show up. So I'd rather not have permanent things on the bike. Take away from the design. Ooh, here we are on a kickstand now, boy. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Like this is gonna be awesome. But all furies, that's that's something special. I rigged it the best way I think I could. I don't know how stable it's gonna be. I put on hyper stabilization. Righty, let them know I'm coming. Ooh. I have no idea how the, the quality of this film is gonna be. If you can even hear me, or how well it's gonna shake, but. Key. Yeah. I know. Wow, it looks great. This bike looks great. Yeah. 
All right, I made it here after the ride. Met up at Steve's house. We got pretty cool couple of bikes here, man. They're all different. They look fantastic. Yeah, That's my boy Steve. Here we go. Yeah, Steve. What's up? What's, What's up? up? Hanging in there, Steve, doing well. We are ready to yeah. ride. We're ready to rip. We're gonna have a great time. This is fantastic, man. What a How beautiful we machine. Got? We got nine. We got nine Furies riding today. Nine Furies. We're waiting man. on one more. So for being impromptu, we turn. We have a pretty good turnout for making this for what it is. But I think what's really special about today is I didn't know there was that many Furies around. And to be honest. We got all the different colors. It's fantastic, man. There's me. That's it. Check it out, man. That blue looks cool. I'm biased. I do love that red. Got V Race Customs license plate holder. Floorboards on the front. I like that. Got that America theme. Got them clutch blades. I kind of like that idea. I wanted to have that on the Fury, but I ended up going with the the spikes itself. But uh, see, fantastic. That looks awesome. I think the sissy bar definitely makes it. Similar to mine, he did the two light instead of the one bar. Very cool. That is air ride, yes sir. The air ride I got um, my friends Chris and Carrie at Valley Motorsports. They became a uh, they became a dealer, okay. so I could get it. Oh, so cool. if you wanted to, they can order it for you. Really? Yeah. How much of a difference does it make? I've got that. It's nothing. I just doesn't even know I'm on there. Yeah. So with with the air ride with the air ride. Um, the it's got plus or minuses. If you go off the if you launch it. Obviously, it's air, so the thing will compress more, not like the regular spring. And the other con about it is when you're on the highway, if you get up a bump, right, it's got to reset. And it will, if you continue to go, and then it gets a little bouncy. So you got to throw off the throttle. Yeah, oh, I mean, I, my, I got that on video, but my ass went airborne. I hit that first. I came around the corner, and I went, go, 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 go. I was like, holy shit. This lady looking at me like, look at this asshole. <laughs> but when you have, uh, in my opinion, when you have uh, speed bumps through your neighborhood, you tend they they want it to be quiet. So every time I went over one, I just went pa, crack it open. Oh, another speed bump, pa! You and your speed bumps. I mean, make a noise, dude. We're furious, right? So. It's it is soft and normal riding, but if you do hit a couple bumps, you kind of roll off, kind of figure it out and and move forward from there. But the whole thing comes apart. The whole shock, the whole thing gets completely taken out, replaced, and then you got to run airlines and then power. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I did it. It's not too too crazy, but I did it myself. Follow instructions and. Hey, if you if you are gonna do it, I made a video, so you can try to. The only thing I won't do is I won't take off the rear tire. Yeah. I, I'm not comfortable with the. Uh, with the drive shaft. With the shaft and the. Yeah, so the shaft itself stays inside a harness. It's all bolted up. Yeah. So the only thing on the back tire, because I was nervous too, and I'm like, well, what's the worst thing can happen? I break it, and I'll fix it. But there's a like a spline that's on the rim itself. And that's what pops off the the drive shaft. So it's all enclosed, because it has to be for the oil for change. The right, right, for the right. shaft oil. But yeah. So but it's easy taking the rear off? It is. But I, you de you def you want to have a bike lift. So you're the first one with the extended forks, bro. Here? Yeah. These are four uh, three inch or four? All right, I have the kit sitting on my workbench. I just need a brake line and we'll be putting that on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just want to know how different does it ride. I would imagine it'd be easier to handle. That's, and then, last year I met Jeff Hines down in Florida. He's got that turquoise, he's got it. Yeah. So he gave it to oh, Frederick. Uh, I met Jeff, huh? yeah, yeah. 
and he's got the big tire. He goes, it rides actually better with the big tire in front. Okay. I don't know why. The the pizza cutter, the big, the big uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like the huge, huge. It's what, the, well, There's two guys with that light blue, right? Well, Look at that, fantastic. Blue, like, that is with the three inch extension. Like, he added the sleeves to cover up the lines. That's cool to see it in person. That's really gonna make a difference. Got a smoking tire garage. Spikes. I like the raised bars. There you go. You got Kiriak and large pegs. He got the small in the back. That'd be kind of nice to actually see in person because I'm going to go with that route probably. Unless you do the Accutronics for the forward springs, but that's, that's a little bit, seems a little too more forward for me. All right, so just a couple more bikes showed up. Dude, this is fantastic. Oh, I run a YouTube channel. Oh, I do all Fury mods. He does. <laughs> I do. Recognize you. Oh, pleasure to meet you. How you doing? Willie, Steve. Steve, pleasure. This is so cool, man. Didn't realize so many viewers were this close. I'm so glad I came out. This is really badass, dude. We got a whole gang coming. Boy. Look at those shorty pipes. Bam. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, I've been here for 10 years. I've already been here for 13 years ago, that? No, I haven't. Oh, I had it for like eight years. Is there a girl Lisa's bike? Sick. Steve. Ooh. Steve's bringing out the dragon bike. Big boy! That maroon, look at that sparkle pop. Boy, that's sick. I love the way that that sound, dude. Yeah.
to Athena's Diner. We had a nice ride. Put them all lined up like soldiers. <laughs> like soldiers lined up. We're gonna go in nice air conditioning, get some grub, get to eat. Chat with new friends. That's it, boys. We out. Great group of friends, new friends, new family. We're all ready to rock out. We're going our own separate ways, but uh, stay tuned. We're definitely gonna do more rides like this in the future. I. Right? That's today's episode. Y'all have a good one now. Peace.